Hello children. Today let's learn something good. We'll uh, adopt many things and it's what you know. No men are foreign. From the book of Beehive and this poem is written by James Kirkup. Let's know. Now before I begin this poem I would like to prick you with something. That is what had happened on June 16th, we had the Indochina war had just started and most of them had died in that, the Martis. I would like to read out or I would like to say a few lines on the war that was on 16th of June. It was a really heartbreaking incident for all of us. The war will end. The leaders will shake their hands. The old woman will keep waiting for her martyred son. The girl will wait for her beloved husband. And those children will wait for their beloved father. I don't know who sold a homeland, but I saw who paid the price. Now children, this is about the war. What happens when the war takes place? Who are the sufferers? The family, the friends, they are all the sufferers. Why can't we have peace? What do we tell to the people who fight war, who do not belong to our country? We call them as foreigners because they do not belong to our country. Similarly, the other country people also think us to be foreigners because we do not belong to their family, their country. So we should not have this kind of thought in our mind. This poem, No Men Are Foreign, somehow tries to instill in our minds this kind of feeling, the feeling of universal brotherhood. You can see the symbol of peace in the picture. Now James Kirkip, who is the main poet of this poem, he was born on 23rd of April 1918 in England. He was an English poet, translator and a travel writer. What's a travel writer? He used to travel to various places and he used to write many books and poems based on those things. He wrote over 30 books including autobiographies, novels, and plays. He died on 10th of May 2009. Here you can see a picture. What is the picture about you can see? It's a picture of a war. How do you feel about it? So what do you think about it? What did you observe from those clips? What was actually going on? What were they doing? What were they aimed for? Why were they fighting? And where did it take place? What was the result so far? So what do you think now? Keep thinking. What is the outcome of this war? Is it necessary this war? If somebody comes from the other countries, do we tell them to move away from our place? Should we do that? We need to promote universal brotherhood. Have you ever thought of some people as strangers or other countries as foreign? If anybody, if anybody comes to your house, how do you treat him or her? We show hospitality or do we start a argument with them? No, we need to welcome them. We do not have to tell that they are strangers. We have many ways of thinking of other people as different from us as them. No men are foreign. You know, this poem, before beginning and before entering to this poem stanza wise, I would like to give a small summary of this so that, you know, it will be better understanding if I tell you the summary of it. So this poem is a very thought provoking poem. Thought provoking means it will motivate you to think more what is good and what is bad. It tells us that there is no difference between people and the countries they live in. Therefore, wars and the bloodshed that takes place in the name of caste 
class, creed and country are futile, are of no use, they are dangerous and must be condemned means must be stopped. The uniforms that the soldiers wear are different, those are the uniforms are different of different parts of the world. But you know, and below the, beneath the uniforms are the bodies and the bodies are all similar. Our body, their body, every body is the general thing. Uniforms must be different, but body is singular, one body, one similar body for universal people. The earth, the one walks upon, is the same for all the people from all different countries. Like we are saying that as if I am only walking on this earth, no other people is walking. No, the earth, the mother earth is for all the children, for all the people, for all the country. Remember, all will die and they will mingle up in this earth only. They will return back to this earth. People in every part of the earth, they get sunshine, they get air. They too prosper during peace, but have to suffer poverty and hunger during the war like us. Do we have that discrimination? Ki my country people only will receive the sunshine, the foreigners will not receive the sunshine. That is not. That is not done. Everybody receives the sunshine. Everybody receives the air. They too utilize the peace. They too suffer the poverty during the war like we are suffering. Like so many people died in this war on June 16th. How the relatives are suffering. We are losing so many Martis, so many Indian Martis, so many people from China also. So many people died. So what is this? This is what? This is jealousy. This is anger which results in war. We should have the feeling that why war? Why can't we bring out peace in this? They are built just like us. And sleep or wake up in the manner similar to us. We also sleep, they also sleep. We wake up, they wake up. So everything is similar. They too can be won by our love. There is no enmity. There can be no enmity if we develop the feeling of love. Thus, the human life is the same in every part of the world. The poem gives us the message of mutual and peaceful existence. Everybody should be united together. There should be no jealousy, no discrimination, no enmity feeling within each other. Who are they? I have struck out now. And you can see a picture named foreign. Who are they? Foreign is what? What is foreign? Who are the foreigners? They may belong to a different country or speak a different language. In this poem, however, the poet reminds us of many ways in which we are all the same for all are human. All belong to one thing, that is we all are humans. They must be belonging to different countries. They must be speaking different language. But the poet's intention here is to point out that we all are human beings. That is the main thing we should be focused or we should enter into our mind. You can see various kinds of people in this. Can you identify who is a foreigner over here? In this poem, the poet tries to say that no men belong to another country. The poet wants to say that all men are equal. He wants to promote the concept of universal brotherhood. All men eat, live and die in the same way. You can see all men are standing where on the globe earth. They all are standing together holding their hands which symbolizes unity. We should inculcate the feeling of unity. Everyone gets the bounties of nature like equal sunshine, land, etc. in equal measure. It is not that I can feel the nature, I can utilize the nature, but the foreigners cannot utilize the nature. The foreigners do not have right to use the sunshine. The foreigners do not have land. No, there should not be this feeling. They also enjoy the sunshine, land, everything in equal measures. So, 
like us the other people also feel and enjoy the sun you can see how they're enjoying like us they reap harvest during the peace like us they suffer from the shortages of essential things during the war time war time what happen if there is war there become shortage of everything there is shortage of food water everything so peace is totally shattered and sorrow takes place remember no man is strange no country is foreign beneath all uniforms a single body breathes like us the land upon our brothers walk upon this earth like this in which we all shall lie so remember no man is strange no countries are foreign observe this pictures carefully see the pictures of war how it destruction is taking place see it nicely are you feeling happy in your heart seeing the war the destruction here let us discuss the summary of the first line here the poet is addressing to all of us he tells us to remember that no man is strange no country in the world is foreign he says no one is different for another we all are equal we all are known to each other we should not have the feeling of a stranger under all uniforms we have body same body which breathes each one of us are alive each one of us breathe so why there is discrimination he means to say we all human beings are equal despite of our different countries and cultures yes a countries might be different a cultures might be different somebody must be wearing sari somebody must be wearing suits so there are different cultures some uh, celebrate christmas some celebrate the shera some celebrate there are different kinds of celebrations also different cultures prevailing all over the world in different countries but why to criticize them why to bring war why to develop the feeling of enmity why can't we adapt it why can't we cheer them up so that they will be common brotherhood feeling the land on which a man of other country walks we are all human beings we should not consider people's belongings to the other countries as foreigners hum log we hum log aisa nahi kar sakte we cannot say that it belongs to them so they are foreigners no people may wear clothes of different colors and designs but under that different clothes their body is the same remember the body is the same which breathe the earth on which they walk also is the same as we walk so everything is similar it is the same earth it is the same earth in which we all are buried after death everybody is going to die death is inevitable truth which we are going to experience it who is alien among this can you say who is a foreigner who is our own can you see the picture it is ruthless it is miserable it is heartbreaking to see this picture can you say who is a stranger over here next band stands up they too aware of the sun and air and water are fed by peaceful harvest by was long winter starved their hands are ours and in their lines we read a labor not different from our own so here the other people are also those foreigners whom we are saying as foreigners those people they are also aware of the sun they are also aware of the air they are also aware of the water these life sources are for them to not for us we cannot be selfish we cannot discard anything it is not only for us we cannot be selfish it is for everybody they also fed by peaceful harvest peaceful harvest when the crops grow when there is greenery everywhere the peaceful atmosphere they also utilize it they also experience it but in hard times when we are suffering they are also suffering they are equally balanced with us it means other people like us also have seen good days and bad days they also like peace and hate wars their hands are similar to our hands and in their lines we read it means that as them we also do work hard we also do hard labor for our survival we all work for our survival we all earn our living we do a lot of occupations but all are similar 
it is not that they work differently we work differently yes but we are working for our livelihood for our existence we feed we work to feed themselves and the children remember they have eyes like us that wake or sleep and strength that can be won by love in every land is common that all can recognize and we should remember that people to have eyes which are similar to us they all have strength which can be won by love we can win the hearts by love not by hatred you cannot fight and become friend with anybody else we need to develop the feeling of love unity and sharing caring should always be there when a new child is coming to your class you need to show him love and affection and caring towards him so that the child will be friendly with you if you show a feeling of hatredness never the child will come close to you so try to make friends try to love them with love only we can you win many hearts this is a common life for all human beings my dear children no men are foreign we all belong to one soul that is we are all humans we all have similarity in our body parts and function of those body parts we all have body parts this is a very simple fact we all can realize that we all human being share equal traits like what are the body parts what are the five sense organs we what are these five sense organs when we are utilizing it even the people from the other country they are also having those body parts they are also utilizing those body parts they also have the similar function so where lies the difference why do we fight then let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers it is ourselves that we shall dispose us betray condemn remember who take arms against each other so few people tell us to hate other people who do not belong to our community and fight against them but it is a duty to deny such ideas like few people what they tell ki are they do not belong to a community you just hate them don't go to them don't mix up with them wo log alag hai hamare hamare religion se bilkul alag hai wo log bahar se aaye hain ya don't mix up with them what happens now now when the people are coming from the outside we are trying to keep them aloof from us why we feel that they are foreigners they should not mix with us but are we doing it correct it is a duty to deny such ideas if koi bhi ghar pe if any elderly people also suggest ki don't mix with those people because they are outsiders they might be dangerous for you no you should not have those things in your mind you should deny such ideas and bring love and peace are foreign people having alien soul are their soul different from us we should condemn it we should stop this we should remember that we are the one who took arm against our brothers arm means weapons against our brothers we are fighting against our brothers we are the one who fight against each other now fighting against brothers is this justice is it correct we should stop fighting against among us we should develop peace it is the human earth that we defile our hells of fire and dust outreach the innocence of air that is everywhere our own remember no men are foreign and no country is strange so it is a human earth that we defile we are trying to pollute the human earth our hells of fire and dust outreach the innocence that means whatever innocent our feeling is there we are just spoiling it it is human beings who make the earth dirty our clean earth is becoming dirtier if we start fighting if we start hating each other the fires of war we are destroying our innocence why are we destroying this innocence can't we bring peace can't we stop this war what are these war bringing to our lives it is polluting the earth mother earth is crying it is polluting we should remember that no men are foreign we all are equal so these lines here are taken no men are foreign are really worth reading 
we should here is a small recap and you can just go through these recap lines it's a small summary so this poem is based on the idea that we are the children of the same father and god god is the father we are his children just a recap children you will be able to understand it much better as such we should believe in the universal brotherhood of man every time believe this the earth is the common property of mankind we should not think that we are the citizens of this or that country we should think that we all are equal of mankind our father is one and that is god we should give up the feelings we should not think that we are the citizens of the world we should think that we are the citizens of the world in all war what happens countries suffer and in peace all prosper countries suffer and where is the peace peace goes away therefore if we hate others we deceive ourselves we are deceiving ourselves we are trying to now here are certain meanings of those words uniform its meaning is dress beneath under outrage destroy defile to corrupt condemned criticize recognize no betray deceive fed get food from so in this poem you will come across these certain words and the meanings are already given just go through the meanings you will definitely understand it clearly our motto of this poem is united stand and divided we fall so this should be in our mind now let us discuss few question answers after understanding the poem beneath all uniforms what uniforms do you think the poet is speaking about what uniforms the uniforms refer to those worn by soldiers belonging to different countries who indulge in wars and fights and uh, once again i'm repeating the uniforms refer to those worn by soldiers belonging to different countries who indulge in wars and fights remember children once you understand the poem try to write the answers in your own words it is not necessary that you have to write the answers that is over here how does the poet suggest that all people on earth are the same the poet says that all people are same in the following ways we belong to one human race we walk upon death we lie in our graves in the same earth during peace we all enjoy the bounties of nature during war in the winter we all starve due to the shortage of food we all do a lot of labor with the hands we have eyes which function in the same way now in stanza 2 find five ways in which we are all alike pick the words the five words that indicate we all are alike are we walk we breathe all are alike means all is similar we have eyes we work with our hands we enjoy the bounties of nature these are five similar things how many common features can you find in stanza 2 pick out the words there are three common features in stanza 2 they are as we enjoy the bounties of nature and eat good food during peace we starve during war and in winter season we have similar hands which we use for during lab doing labor whenever we are told to hate our brothers when do you think this happens why who tells us should we do as we are told at such times what does the poet say the leaders of any country tell the masses masses means the people to hate the people of another country they say so why do they say they say so to fulfill their personal gains and follow them because when we hate our brothers we hate ourselves when we indulge in wars we pollute the mother earth by laying dead bodies on it yes children when there is war the mother earth is polluted by the dead bodies i hope you all have enjoyed this poem you have learned a lot develop the feeling of universal brotherhood throw away the feeling of hatred enmity 
if you show love to others the re there will be reciprocation you will receive love also so spread love spread universal brotherhood thank you